Hello and welcome back to Horse Racing Systems. This is Dutchin with Excel Spreadsheets. And we're going to be doing the meeting at Wolverhampton this evening. Time at the moment is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wolverhampton kicks off in two hours. It's Monday the 11th of March 2024. And we're going to get underway. So the first race this evening there is the 5 o'clock. 12 go to post in the Apprentice Handicap. And £4,292 to the winner. And this is our spreadsheet. Right, Dutchin, if you haven't done it before, just watch carefully and you'll understand it by the end of the video. Every horse in every race has got a rating. I've got them in descending order. And our first selection in the five o'clock, or our top selection, is Bungle Bay. So we normally bet with exchanges. You get better odds with exchanges. But you do have to pay a small fee on your winnings. So let's start. As we go along, I'll explain what happens anyway. So we've got Bungle Bay. At the moment, this is favourite at 3.2, so just a little bit less than 9 to 4. Our stakes are £31.25. Now, with that £31.25 at 3.2 SP, you will receive £100. Now, what we do is the stakes will not exceed... 50 pounds to get 100 back so we will be on every horse at evens until we reach the final horse and then i'll explain what happens to that one right so as i say we cannot lay out more than 50 pounds and we've already laid out 31 in the first race so bear to dream will be the second selection and that at the moment is trading just hit 7.4 there. So 7.4. And the stakes will be £13.51. So with those two horses, we've laid 44.76. And we've only got £5.24 left to stake. Our third horse in the five o'clock is our Lecchio's Gift. Now, Alekio's gift at the moment is second favourite, trading at six. But here you can see an overround figure, it's called, of 106.2. Now, if you was to actually put these horses on once they get nearer the five o'clock, you'll notice this will go down to 101 point something, and the prices, I'm not saying all horses will drift, but the price all round figure will be better so always bet towards the end sort of uh, five minutes before the race is due off right 6.2 are Lecchio's gift so we put 6.2 in the sp and it tells us we need 16 pound 13 pence to get 100 pounds back but as i said before we'd already stake 44.76 and we've only got £5.24 left. So there you can see at the bottom, there's our stake, £50. If we back Bungle Bay or Bear to Dream, one of those two win, we will receive £100. And if we back our Lecchio's Gift, I'm just going to get the calculator out for you. 6.2 is... The SP times 5.24 is the stake because we couldn't have any more on. And this will give us somewhere in the region of £32 back. So yes, we would lose, but it wouldn't be much, just £18. Now, what happens with the bookmakers on exchanges, most of them charge a fee on the winnings so if bungle bay was to win you're going to receive a hundred pounds back less your 50 pound stake and the five percent which betfair normally charge would come off your profit part 
So 50 pounds at 5% would be two pounds 50 deductions. Unlike the high street bookmakers that don't take anything off you, but they've taken it off double that at least on their prices. Right, so that's the five o'clock. Now we're moving into the second race, which is the 5.30. Eight go to post, a handicap, £4,292 go to the winner. And our top selection is Mintana. So into Betfair again. And we want these, that's it, the half past five there. I say there's a few non-runners tonight at Wolverhampton. And Mintana at the moment is showing at 5.7. And don't forget this overround figure can increase to 101 to give you a little bit better value. So 5.7 will be the SP. And the stake, £17.54, will return 100 pounds and you keep on going down here until you stake 50 pounds so jacqueline is our second selection jacqueline at the moment trading at 8.2 so 8.2 and here the stakes would be 12 pounds 20 to return 100 pounds our third selection is basholo Basholo is at the moment the market leader at 4.4. And as you can see with our first two bets that we had, we laid out £29.74. So the maximum we can have on Basholo is £20.26. Not too terrible. Right, so Mintana and Jacqueline, if either one of these two was to win, you would return £100. And calculator time again. If Basholo was to win, you've taken a price of 4.4 on the Betfair SP times 20, 26 states, which would return £89. <clears throat> £89, which would still be a good profit. And you've got three horses running for you. And that's the difference between batching and normal gambling or mud punting, what I used to do. You know, you're not just betting in each way. You're not just betting one that comes into your head. You're maximising your returns by backing three horses in this race. Moving into the six o'clock, this is going to be a no bet race for me. I do have a few of these. You can see there's hardly any form to go on, but the horse at the bottom here, payment plan, is unraced, which means it hasn't had any races under rules, and we have no form at all. You would have to be an insider to roughly know what's going on with that one. I have got the rest of them in ratings orders. You can follow this coppersmith if you wanted to. But uh, it's a definitely a no betting race for me. So we'll swiftly move on from the 6 o'clock into the 6.30. Six go to post here. Another handicap. £8,898 will go to the winner. And we'll go into Betfair now for the 6.30. That's that. And our top selection is Glorious Angel. Now, Glorious Angel is trading at the moment at 21, so a big outsider. 102.7 is the over round, so it will get slightly better, and Glorious Angel will just creep it out to 22. So, the stakes. £4.55 at 22 SP will give you a return of £100. Our second selection is Incrimination. Incrimination is also another outsider. 8.8 .8 this one's trading at. 
and the stakes eleven pound thirty six at the eight pound uh, sorry at the eight point eight SP would return you one hundred pounds. Our third selection is Elu Elu for Romania. Sound right to you? Elu for Romania, something like that. But I'm glad it isn't me who's got to call them home. Now this is at the moment favourite two eighteen, so just under six to five, going back to eleven to ten. And as you can see, the stakes there, £45.87, but we've already staked £15.91. All we can have on this is £34.09 to bring the stakes to £50. So we'll do this one on the calculator. £34.09p is your stake. Times that by 2.18 SP would give you back £74. So you've still got a win on that third one there, but you've also got Glorious Angel and Incrimination to run for you as well. Those two would return £100. So you've nearly got half the field there. Then it's time for the 7 o'clock. Nine go to post, another handicap, £4,292 to the winner. And our top selection here is Bossy Parker. So back into Betfair, 7 o'clock, and Bossy Parker. We can already see here that it's odds on 1.95. 105.8 is the over round. I'm sure that most other horses here will get bigger. But 1.95 Bossy Parker means that we need to have on this £51.28. We know we can't because the maximum's 50 So £50 will be our only bet in that race. 1.95 SP times the 50 will return us 97.50. And from your £50 stake, that's still a nice profit of 47.50. If the favourite obliges. There's an eight race card here tonight, so the next race is the 7.30. Eight go to post, a handicap, £5,862 to the winner, and our top selection is Sir Titan. So, Sir Titan, as we move on to Betfair to the 7.30. Sir Titan is showing at 10 again the over round 105 still too high but 10 is the sp for sir titan 10 pound stake on this one would return 100 pounds and the second selection we've got is king of speed this is favorite 2.76 and again, the stakes there, £36.23 will return you £100. Now, the only thing is, all this now leaves is £3.77 to play with. And Egoist is trading at 3.5. That is second favourite at 5 to 2. But all we can have on this one, regardless, is £3.77. Pence. So, £3.77p there, and as you can see, the stakes is £50. So if Egotiste was to win, you would have had £3.77 on this one at 3.5. Not a lot, but it would give you £13 back. It would be something better than nothing. And Sir Titan and King of Speed, you've got two against the field there to get £100 back. Into the 8 o'clock. 8 go to post. Another handicap, £5,862 to the winner. 
And our top selection is Wallaroo. And again, Betfair into that page. Wallaroo showing at 10.5. Again, the over round just a little bit higher there. And 10.5 is the SP. £9.52 stake on this one would return you £100. Our second selection is Dappled Light. Dappled Light is another outsider here trading at, just went from 13, but I'll put 12 and a half. And this means a stake of £8 on this one would return you £100. Our third selection is Moon Over the Sea, which at the moment is currently joint favourite at 4.8 and a stake here of £20.83. We'll just add those three together. We've got £38.36. <clears throat> so all we've got left is £11.64. Our fourth selection is Zumati. Zumati is 12.5. And 12.5 there would be a stake of £8 that would return you £100. And we've got £3.64 left. And twist the line is the outsider at 30. And 30 there needs a stake of £3.33 to win one or return £100. And we have 31 pence left. And as I say, whether you just put that on Twister Line or you do another horse is over to you. And this comes up with 5.6. 5.6 on Crypto's Dream at 13 pence. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, sorry, 31 pence. I got my numbers around the wrong way. Right, so there's your 50 pound stakes. Crypto's Dream is your sixth selection, and there's only eight runners. 31 pence at five pound or 5.6 SP would only give you one pound 73 back, nothing really. But these top five would be running for you all for a hundred pound hundred pound return, and there's only eight runners. So you've got Wallaroo, Dappled Light, Move Over the Sea, or Moon Over the Sea, to Marty, and Twister Line. You've got these five running for you, and the other three basically you'll be on a loss. That was the penultimate race at Wolverhampton, the 8 o'clock. Now, the last race, the finale at 8.30, 11 go to post, classified stakes, £5,653 going to the winner. And Sunset in Paris is our top selection. So the last race here, Sunset in Paris is favourite, 2.56. And stakes of £39.06. and pence. That's taken a big chunk of what we have to spend. Reformed Character is our second selection. This is at 12. And don't forget again, the over round here is poor. 111.8. Don't bet anything in this race at all until closer to the off. So £8.33 stakes here at 12 SP would return us £100. And if we back a third horse, all we've got left now is £2.60. Ebury is our third selection. And this is trading at 46 £2.17 on that. So we had enough. And Coconut Bay would be our last selection at 
And on our fourth and final selection, all we can have is 43 pence. And 43 pence into the calculator. Times 14.5 on the back there. Prices return £6.23. And again, it's better than nothing. And the other three horses, which are Sunset in Paris, Reformed Character and Ivory, are all running for you for a £100 return. So I'm just going to go back again to the first race at Wolverhampton tonight, which is the five o'clock. We've got Bungle Bay and Bear to Dream running for us. And the one with the little money on is our Lecos, our Lekinos gift. That's our selections in the first race. Then in the 5.30, we've got Mintana and Jacqueline returning a hundred pounds. And the other one we've got with less money is Basholo. The six o'clock is a no bet. Don't get involved in that unless you feel you have to. The 6.30, we have Glorious Angel and Incrimination running for us at a £100 return. And the other one we got is this L.A. Luther Romania. I'm sure it's not pronounced anywhere like that. But that's the third selection there that we've got. Then in the 7 o'clock, we've only got one here. That's Bossy Parker because it is odds on at 1.95. Then in 7.30, we've got two running for us here. So Titan and King of Speed and the little money we got on the Ego East. The penultimate race, the 8 o'clock, we have five running for us here. Wallaroo, Dappled Light, Moon Over the Sea, Zumati, and Twister Line. And we got tiny money back if Chris Crypto's dream was to win. And into the final race, we got three running for us Sunset in Paris, Reformed Character, Ebury, and Coconut Bay for little money at the end there. So good luck with whatever you're going to play tonight. And I'll be back in the morning with the results from today and see where we went wrong or see if we had a few winners. So good luck to everybody and um, we'll catch you in the next video.